The Chevrolet Cruze is a popular compact car. Buyers call Chevy Cruze the least reliable compact car, and it is not a great thing to be called. This title goes to the first generation Chevrolet Cruze, which is a sad thought. There are a lot of posts on the internet about how terrible the troubles with the Chevrolet Cruze are. You can also find great recommendations for staying away from it on the web. But, is it that terrible? Well, we'll find out in today's video. Do you have issues with your Chevy Cruze's power, engine stalling, oil leaks, hard shifts, or transmission shaking? We can assist if you have a 2014 to 2022 Chevy Cruze and are experiencing common issues. Please call us at 424-408-8060 or fill out the questionnaire in the description box for a free consultation to find out if your car is eligible for a cashback. So, here are some issues with the Chevy Cruze that make it the most problematic Chevy car. Engine Issues There have been reports of a few engine issues in many 2018 Chevy Cruises. People who own the affected models claimed that their engines would stop working while driving. A broken alternator, sensors, or insufficient gas could induce the problem. A further issue found in many 2018 redesigns is that the engine fails. In some cases, drivers have seen their cars huffing, puffing, and putting out smoke from beneath the hood. A few owners have also said that their car's engines broke down more than once during the first two months after they bought them. How terrible is that? Right? Several drivers figured out that a defective cylinder that released oil beneath the car was the cause of their car's broken engine. In certain situations, metal shrapnel got into the turbo injector, making fixes more costly. Be aware that engine failure can also be caused by not using enough oil, detonation, a blown head gasket, or the wrong fuel. So, if you are experiencing the same issue, have a licensed mechanic look at your car immediately to get a correct diagnosis. Broken Piston Many 2017 Chevy Cruze owners had said that a broken piston made their cars idle poorly or gave them less power when they tried to speed up. Most of the time, this part costs about $100 plus the cost of labor to replace. Electrical Failure Car owners of the 2016 redesign have often complained about electrical problems. Some owners have said they can't start their vehicles, while others claim their radios don't work and the check engine light is on. Most of the time, a dead battery, a stuck relay, a terrible alternator, or a blown fuse is to blame. Not sure if the California Lemon Law applies to your new, used, or rented Chevy Cruze. Check out the eligibility criteria on our website, Lemon Law Assist, or call us at 424-408-8060 to have your vehicle evaluated at no cost. Shifting Issues a few owners of the redesigned cruises from 2011 to 2016 have said that their transmissions slip and change gears tough. Software problems could be to blame for these problems. Most driving problems could be fixed by resetting the transmission control system and upgrading the transmission. The same problem can also be caused by shift solenoids and valve bodies that don't work or are broken. A new shift solenoid for the cruise usually costs about $40, while a valve body can cost somewhere between $200 to $800 plus labor costs. Steering Issues Next up are steering issues. Steering issues have been reported by many people whose cars were redesigned in 2014. Car owners of the negatively affected model year said their cruise's steering would get stuck when driving on the highway and jerk whenever the power assist came back. Some motorists have also claimed that they lost all power steering, which made it more likely that they would get into an accident. Water Pump Issues Some 2014 Chevy Cruze owners have said that a problem with the water pump induced their engines to heat up, which damaged the head gasket. Most of the time, the water pump fails because of poor seals, a loose drive pulley, broken belts, or corrosion. A new water pump can cost between $30 to $100, plus the cost of the work. Coolant leaks. Coolant leaks have been one of the most common problems with the 2011 Chevy Cruze. People who own the concerned models have said they can smell antifreeze in the cabin. A few of them saw white smoke billowing from beneath the hood. Some people have also said that their car's air conditioner was turned off by itself since the leak resulted in the engine getting too hot. Because of the large number of concerns, General Motors was the subject of a proposed class action lawsuit in 2014. 
The people who sued said that many redesigned cars in 2011 had a mechanical flaw that let antifreeze leak out of the radiator. They also said that the problem persisted even though they had taken their vehicles to the car dealer more than once to fix it. The litigation also said that General Motors sent out two technical service bulletins about the coolant leaks but didn't notify the public. In 2016, the proposed class action lawsuit was thrown out after General Motors won a motion to do so. Transmission Issues 2011 cruise owners often had problems with the transmission failing. Car owners of the affected vehicles had said that they heard clunking sounds from their cars before their Chevys went into reverse by themselves. Some people have also said that their cars will often get trapped in driving or speed up and slow down unexpectedly. A terrible torque converter, a poor clutch, a low transmission fluid, or a poor transmission solenoid can all cause the transmission to fail. Even though the Chevy Cruze is a reliable daily driver, defective parts could still cause problems with its quality and efficiency. To maintain your running for an extended time, you need to keep up with repairs and maintenance and watch out for the most frequent issues that cars have. Reliability Score RepairPal grants the Chevy Cruze a rating of 4 out of 5 for reliability, making it 26th out of 36 compact cars. The model needs about $545 in repairs and upkeep every year, which is slightly more than the estimated $530 for compact cars. But many Chevy Cruze owners take their vehicles in for unplanned repairs about 0.4 times per year, with a 12% chance of having a significant issue. J.D. Power said that the 2016 and 2017 cruises, which were redesigned, were the most reliable. Both model years got 88 points out of 100. This makes the 2017 model the second best in its category, behind the Toyota Prius. The 2016 redesign came in sixth in its category. Do you know there's no out-of-pocket expense on your part if you have issues with your Chevy Cruze? Check out the eligibility criteria on our website, Lemon Law Assist, or call us at 424-408-8060 to have your vehicle evaluated at no cost. So, there you have it, folks. If you have any questions or topic recommendations for future videos, please leave them in the comments section. With this, we're going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible videos. We hope to meet you guys again in the next video. Till then, 